Hi, I'm Vianne Sharif, and in this video I'll be talking about how our over-exploitation of the natural world is having devastating consequences on our biodiversity and ecosystems. Humanity relies on biodiversity for survival. We're harvesting plants and animals at much faster rates than their populations could ever regenerate, and that's driving many species to extinction. Illegal hunting, or overhunting, can cause extinctions of wild species. In fact, hunting drove the passenger pigeon to extinction. This bird was so plentiful in North America in the 19th century that the skies grew dark with millions of birds when they migrated to and from their breeding grounds. But the last known bird died in Cincinnati Zoo in 1914. In some cases, Illegal hunting stems from much more complex social issues of poverty. Bushmeat hunting can be sustainable, but overexploitation has led to empty forests with devastating consequences for ecosystems and local food security. Traditional customs that ensured harvesting from the wild was sustainable are becoming eroded as human populations grow, become more urbanized, and the methods to catch wildlife become more widespread and efficient. It's not only on land. World fisheries have declined year on year. Did you know that a quarter of global stocks are either overexploited, depleted or recovering from depletion? Another half of fish stocks are being exploited close to the limits that are sustainable. We're catching fewer fish because numbers are falling smaller fish because they don't have time to reach full size before they're captured, and we even have to switch to different species. Part of the reason we're so effectively overexploiting our oceans is because we have more efficient tools and they're bigger. We have gigantic trawlers with nets that can each suck 250,000 tonnes of fish out of the sea every day. We have equipment that dredges miles of the ocean floor, collecting anything live and destroying everything in its wake. Something called bycatch is also a massive problem. That means that sharks, turtles, dolphins and rays are literally dumped back into the sea, dead. Wasteful practices like shark finning still carry on. That's where we eat only their fins and literally dump the sharks. Some of the most amazing species, animals we've grown up with in stories like elephants, tigers and rhino, are facing a race against time for their survival in the face of the illegal wildlife trade. One animal is the pangolin, the most illegally traded mammal. If you haven't heard of one yet, you soon will, as it becomes more and more well known because of the danger it faces from extinction. More than a million pangolins, also known as scaly anteaters, have been snatched from the wild in the last decade, traded for their scales, which are used in traditional medicine, and their meat, which is eaten as a delicacy. It seems crazy to think that we're literally eating these animals to extinction. But they're not alone. Did you know some estimate that around 100,000 elephants have been killed for their ivory tusks over the last three years? They're used either to make intricately carved decorations for people's homes or offices, or to give as gifts. Rhino horn, which has seen an amazing rise in popularity in Vietnam in recent years, is one example of an ingredient previously used in traditional medicine. There are reports of it being used to make everything, from $15,000 bangles worn alongside your Rolex watch, wellness tonics for the super rich, and even a hangover cure. Tigers are another species under threat. Whole tiger skins are sometimes marketed as status symbols for decorating home interiors. Tiger bone wine, often marketed as a general tonic, is priced very highly so it's thought of as being bought by those of very high status. Many Western countries also place huge demand on some animals as pets. And the pet trade has driven several species to extinction in the wild. Think of Spix's macaw, 
It's a beautiful blue parrot that featured in the animated movie Rio, but only a handful of these survive in captivity around the world. But there are many more. The illegal wildlife trade is a billion dollar industry, organized on a global scale, driven not only by unnecessary demand for these products, but also by a complex web of groups involved. Although this may seem overwhelming, there are things you can do. You can choose fish and seafood that are sustainable, following the Marine Stewardship Council guidelines. You can stop buying products made out of illegal materials, like ivory. And you can talk to your friends and those around you, helping to teach others of the consequences. But most importantly, you can think about whatever your own talent is and what that can bring to help make an impact. Before we move on to find out about alien invasions, complete the following activity to help you think more about wildlife crime and find out more from participants about wildlife crime in their areas.